Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. The Utah Jazz outlasted the Nuggets Thursday night 96-84. At one point, the Nuggets had a 13-point lead. But in the fourth quarter, this one slipped away. The Jazz got stronger as the game wore on, and the Nuggets couldn't hit a shot, shooting just 29.4% in the fourth, and they couldn't defend. The Nuggets are 0-2 at Pepsi Center. Tonight, Denver heads to Cali to face Golden State, where the warrior Steph Curry is averaging 35 points a game. 35 points. That one tips off at 8.30. In Phoenix, the Avs didn't do much better. They lost to the Coyotes 4-2. Colorado gave up two goals five and a half minutes into the second period and just never recovered. Cody McLeod and Matt Duchesne found the back of the net. That's three goals in two games for Duchesne. And that's about the only good news. Unfortunately, Nathan McKinnon appeared to have injured his hand late in the third period. Be sure to check back with DenverPost.com slash Avalanche for updates on his status. The Avs host the Rangers tonight. Puck drops at 7 o'clock. The Broncos travel to Indy on Sunday where they look to maintain their undefeated status. Gary Kubiak said on Thursday that Ronnie Hillman will start at running back for the second straight week. On the other side of the ball, the Broncos defense heads into this game ranked first in the league in five different categories. Total defense, passing defense, scoring defense, sacks, and forced fumbles. And that probably has a lot to do with why the Broncos have moved up in the NFL power rankings this week to number two behind the Patriots. Broncos Colts Sunday at Lucas Oil Stadium kickoff at 225. In local college football, the CU Buffs host Stanford on Saturday at 11 a.m. But all the buzz surrounding that game is not due to a player for Colorado, but rather a player from Colorado who has a pretty familiar last name. That's right, I'm referring to Stanford running back and Valor Christian alum Christian McCaffrey. Not to mention Heisman hopeful. McCaffrey has established himself as one of the nation's most productive backs. Get this. Through eight games, he's racked up 1,060 yards and six touchdowns and leads the NCAA with 244.3 all-purpose yards per game. The CUC Rams head north to face Wyoming. That one kicks off at 1 o'clock Saturday and will air on ESPN. And down in Colorado Springs, Air Force squares off against Army at 1.30. You're now up to date. For more on these stories and others, pick up a copy of the Denver Post and be sure to download our game day tracker for every Broncos game for live news, analysis, highlights, and reactions at denverpost.com slash Broncos. I'm Robin Carlin at the Sports Desk with some of our top stories from DPTV.